Do you know why mining has never been easier? Well, it's because I'm gonna show you how simple it is. What's up guys, Majin here and welcome to the cave. Today I'm gonna show you all you need to know about the Simple Mining OS. First you want to go to simplemining.net and open your account here. You can choose any email you want but by default we use the email you gave us when you purchase your rig from us. So when your account is created, click here to log in into your account. Let's go ahead and review the left menu over here. The first option here is the deposit fee. Because Simple Mining is not free, as you can see here, Simple Mining will cost you $2 per month per rig. To deposit, you have different options. If you want to deposit from Bitcoin, you click on the Bitcoin and they gave you this address you want to deposit. If you want to deposit in Ethereum, you click on Ethereum and you have the address here so you can transfer to your account. And you can also mine this fee. So I'm gonna show you how to do this later. Next we have the rig list. This is where we are going to see all the miner connected to your network. Next here is the rig group. This is where we're going to create new group where we're going to enter our code line to mine different coin, different algorithm. This option here is a vote feature. If you want to answer that, it's up to you. Here we have the About OS page. This is where you can download the Simple Mining image right here. If you want to create your own USB stick, you can follow all the procedure here to do it. In order for your rig to connect to your Simple Mining account, you must use the same email inside your USB stick than the account you've just opened. By default, Mining Cave used the email you gave us at the time of your purchase and we already pre-configured your USB stick with it. But if you're using another account or for any other reason, here's how to change the email inside your USB stick. Connect your drive to your PC and you will be prompt with some error message. So don't worry. Everything is normal. Do not format the disk. Close every error message you have. Open up your file explorer and open up your 8 megabyte USB drive here and you're going to see the config file. This is where you are going to input your email which you're using with your simple mining account. So when it's done, save this close the block note, eject your USB stick, put that stick inside your miner and hit that power button. To create a new group, click here in the regroup tab and click on add group. You can see here a list of all the different mining software that mine different algorithm and in the checkbox here you can see if those software are compatible with AMD card or Nvidia card. So now let's mine Ethereum, select the most recent software, version 11.9, hit select miner here. So you can name your group, this is really up to you. Let's uh, quick description, at version 11.9. And here is the miner option that will allow you to choose your pool and set up your wallet address. So I already have some address here, just to show you. So here is the pool you're going to be using with the port. Next, you're going to enter your wallet address here. And those are the most important thing to put in your config. If you want to see more example of these minor option code, you can look at page six of the Mining Cave's simple mining procedure, which is included in your rig. When you have entered all the info, click Add Group here, and we've just created another group. You can create as many groups as you want. If you want to switch regularly between coins, 
then I would recommend to create all the group you're interested in before you start switching. Now that we have created our rig group, I want to show you some option for those rig group. You can see here on the right, you have some icon here. So this one can set your group to default group. If you want to delete your group, you can use this one here. You have the reboot button and the reload button. This will reboot all the rig which are in this group. And this button will reload all the rig which is in this group. And you have the minor program button here. If you need to change your minor option line here, you can change the wallet address and things like that and hit the save button. To mine your fee, you first need to create a new rig group which has your fee address in it. So to get your fee address, click on deposit fee tab. Select the currency you're using. For this example, I'm going to use Ethereum. Copy this address into a notepad. And we're going to use that later. Go into your rig group. Add a new group. Select your mining software. Let's call this one Edfi. Okay, and now we need to insert the minor option. So I already have one config here. I'm gonna copy this, paste, and now we need the wallet address and paste it into the config right after eWall space and paste that address. Take the add group button here to add a new group and we've just created our fee at fee group. To mine your simple mining fee account I would recommend you to choose a pool which offer a low amount of payout. For example ethermine.org will offer you a payout as low as 0.05 ETH. This way it will prevent you from deposit too much crypto into your simple mining fee account. Now to mine our fee, we need to assign our rig to our rig group we have just created. Hit the checkbox here. If you want to select all your miner in your list, you can hit this one here. Click assign group, select your group you've just created. In this case, it's Etsy and hit the save button. The miner will reset and it will start mining your fee. If you want to see what your rig is actually doing, you can hit this button here, the console button. It's actually gonna show you what's happening if you were to connect a monitor directly into your miner. Here we have the SSH connection. Instead of downloading the PuTTY software to connect via SSH, you can do it directly via your web browser. Here we have the overclocking option. If you are using AMD GPU, the value which is going to be inserted here are going to be the exact value of the clock speed. If you are using NVIDIA card, the number you're going to enter here is going to be an added value of the base clock of the card. If you want to know more about what overclocking setting you should use, you can check out our simple mining document at page 4. What we see in this menu here is the GPU core megahertz. This is a VRAM megahertz. If you want to apply undervolt to your GPU, you can turn on and off aggressive undervolting. Power stage, you should leave this option to 6. And this here is the minimum fan speed percentage. If you want to keep your card cooler, crank this up. If you want them to be more silent, you can tune them down. But remember that the fan speed will also adjust depending on your target temperature. When you enter all your, your data, hit the save button here. And as you can see here, your rig is now reloading to apply the new overclocking. Which brings me to this option here is to reload your miner if you need to. And this option here is to reboot the whole rig if you need to. This is the 
SRR and the last option here is the delete button if you want to delete this rig from your list. You can also rename your, your rig as you can see here it's named no name just for example I'm gonna name this one Imagine Rig and hit the save button. On your pool you're going to see this name here because of this option if we go back into the minor program you can see here the cache rig name which is a command that will say to your pool to use this name here for the display of your machine on your pool. For users which are using 1080 and 1080 Ti card you can enable the add enlargement pill on SMOS because yes even Ethereum have now enlargement pills. To activate it go into global option here turn it to on save all option and reboot your rig and now your, your 1080 and 1080 Di will run much higher. Thank you guys for watching this procedure on simple mining. If you have any more questions, drop them in the comment below. Obviously, there is a lot more OS you could choose from and we're going to make some procedure about them too. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell if you don't want to miss them.